Unraveling the phrase, Hive Off, a comprehensive guide. Hello everyone and welcome back to our English language learning channel. Today, we have an interesting phrase to delve into, Hive Off. This might sound a bit unusual at first, but by the end of this video, you'll have a great understanding of what it means and how to use it in your conversations. So, let's get started and uncover the mysteries of Hive Off together. Hive Off is a phrasal verb that is primarily used in a business or corporate context. It refers to the action of separating a particular section or department of a company to create a new and independent entity. Essentially, it's like taking a piece of the business and making it stand on its own. Example, if a large company decides to hive off its manufacturing department, it means that the manufacturing department will now operate as a separate business, independent of the larger company. To better understand hive off, let's break down the phrase. The word hive in this context doesn't refer to a bee's home, but rather denotes a place where activity is concentrated. The word off suggests separation or movement away from something. So when you put them together, hive off suggests moving a busy, active part of something away to create a new entity. Example, when a software company hives off its customer support team, the customer support team becomes a separate company, focusing solely on providing customer support. Hive off is often used in business news and articles when discussing corporate strategies or changes within a company. It's not a casual phrase that you would use in everyday conversation, but it is important to understand, especially if you are interested in business English. Example, the tech giant decided to hive off its wearable technology division, aiming to increase focus and efficiency in both the parent company and the newly formed entity. One common mistake is using hive off in the wrong context. Remember, hive off is typically used in a corporate or business setting. Using it to describe separating from friends at a party or dividing food at a dinner table would be incorrect. Incorrect example, let's hive off this pizza so everyone gets a slice. A better choice of words would be divide or split. And that brings us to the end of our exploration of hive off. Remember, this is a phrase that you're likely to encounter in business articles, reports, or discussions about corporate strategies. By understanding hive off, you have added a valuable term to your business English vocabulary. We hope this video has been informative and helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more great content. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.